everybody. I am Russ. This is Chris. It is Tuesday. I hope everybody's having a great day, man. Where does... Well, okay, let's go. Let's go right into it. Virgin wool come from? Where does virgin wool come from? And I'm going to give them a chance to answer. I'll tell them, I'll tell them in a little bit. Okay. Where does virgin wool come from? From Mr. Mer Merton Ferguson. Where does virgin wool come from? Okay, I'm going to have to think on that because I, I don't know right now. I don't know. I have had three people say they have went and watched the movie. Uh, what's the personality? Split. Split. Three people have went and watched the movie Split. One, I mean, oh my God, it's crazy good. Two, good, just a tad bit slow. Three, loved it. The guy who uh, was... The split dude. I can't remember what else he was in. I think he was the professor. In, uh, Is that the one with the kids in the basement? They get the girls? Yes, where he has the personalities. They loved it because this guy played all the characters really well. So, I have not seen that. I went and saw Sleepless with uh, last Friday. And I went and saw Hidden Figures. And you saw Hidden I Figures. I will tell you that. Okay. And Billy Robinson, give a shout out to him, also saw gold with Matthew McConaughey. Said it was on point. Loved it. We have done. Hidden figures was good. True story. Right. You know what's going to happen. Right, right, I right. I couldn't have lived back then. Yeah. I would have got killed. Yeah. Yeah. That no was reason to warn. There you go. <clears throat> Didn't you see something else, though, last week? I no. saw Collateral Beauty. I thought that's, that's what it was. Don't bring it up. Start that's crying again. Yeah. Don't be yeah. We have done your favorite movie. We have done your favorite song. Yesterday, we did your favorite food. Today, we are doing your favorite clothing. Favorite clothing. I am doing, I am doing a pants and a shirt. You get to wear one thing. One thing. A pants and a shirt. So you gotta be, I didn't say shoes. Something that you wear already? Well, mine's gonna be in there, yeah, but. No, like, I, you have a certain pair of pants that you wear and a certain shirt that you have to wear all the time. Yeah, this is it. This is a, you have lost everything except for one item of clothing and you're probably on an island. So you don't have to worry about it. It's something you're gonna have to wear every day. And if it gets holes in it, I'll replace it. What is your one shirt and one pants? For me, it's going to be a t-shirt, just like this, a regular t-shirt, and a pair of athletic shorts. I think I got them on right here. If I am on a desert island. So don't worry about a jacket. It ain't going to be cold. I would like to have on a comfortable pair of swim trunks and a sleeveless shirt. Okay. All if right. I didn't look. If I didn't look, uh, lack of a better word, uh, country as hell, I would wear a sleeveless shirt a lot. I hate sleeves. I absolutely hate them. So in the summer, you know, every time we go somewhere to the pool or I can't wait to put on that sleeveless shirt. Yeah. Okay. And cut it down a little bit where it's not in my underarm. That's where you got the deal. <clears throat> I want to know what is your favorite. Somebody's going to say. Not a tank top. No. Just you got to take the sleeves cut off. Somebody's going to say jeans and, and a t-shirt. Somebody's going to say jeans and a button up. It don't matter. It's what you want to wear every day. Give me one answer. What is it? I'm going to go. So short as we just shirt. said that, somebody just typed in banana hammock. I promise you. <laughs> I promise you. And I, pro I could probably guess who it is. Jeffrey. No, I would probably say Shane, the worst one ever to probably see in a banana hammock. Oh, that is bad. But, that is bad. about that new camera they installed, that one? Yeah, we talked about that If yesterday. Shane had a banana hammock on at his house, and I think they live in Robinson somewhere, right. you can we see could it. see it from that one camera. <laughs> I have said, he showed me how to work the camera, as we talked about yesterday. And... We have one camera that will zoom in to the new Walmart. That is awesome. They didn't even know it was that good until they installed it. That is awesome. And they didn't know what it was worth until too late. So, yeah. 
Try to pull something off now yeah. down there. Yeah. I think we ain't going to see we it. We got you. We got you. Goes 360. Zoom. Whoa. Well, here's the thing, and, I, and I'm going to say it. I wish we could put them in the bathroom. I wish we could put them in the bathroom. Because that's where everything say, gets tore up. I, they're going to be, you pervert. <clears throat> you want, no, I'm not being a pervert. I'm tired of you women and you men breaking our toilets. Literally taking them and breaking them. Turning them. What are y'all doing in there? What, what is the purpose? They literally take the women. The women. You women. I, take the toilet and break it loose and turn it. <sighs> Can you not have... What's that? Can you just not have nice stuff? Can you not right. have nice stuff? Can and then not have nice stuff? And then just want to... I wish you could catch them. Breaking our toilets. Come on. Come on, man. You know what? I might hire me a bathroom attendant. Get me an old country woman and an old country man stand there with a switch and just whop you every time you touch with, it. With, uh, spray you when you come out and give you some gum. And squirt stuff on your hands. Do you Smack know where virgin wool comes no, from? I do not know where virgin wool comes from. Ugly sheep. Ugly sheep. <laughs> he sent me that and I actually laughed out loud. Virgin wool comes from ugly, ugly sheep. sheep. Makes a lot of sense. Makes a lot Probably of sense. Probably the uh, ugly sheep that's tearing the bathrooms up. You may get mad. Oh, I'm sure it is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm going to mm -hmm. say it's some ugly and healthy sheep. Ooh. Some healthy sheep. Some fluffy, some, some, with some fluffy wool. Some fluffy wool on that sheep. What is your favorite thing to do? Besides that, before you go anywhere, what is your favorite thing to do? If you had time on your hands... No idea why my phone just did that. What's your favorite thing to do? Like, man, I just like to sit on the beach and drink beer. What's your favorite thing to do? Yep. Sit on the beach and drink beer? Nope. You can't say the sex part, I guess. That's how you I didn't say I could. I did at the start. I said besides that. Oh. Right when I started. Oh. Nothing. That's all I got. <laughs> you know what? Uh... I've said that we have talked about this before, and I have not done this in a hundred years. Seems like being on a golf course. Oh, yep. At sunset, by yourself, just hitting golf balls. Sprinklers come on and run you out of there. But that was that's one of the most peaceful and cool things I think I've ever done in my life. Is I lived with my dad at the time. And I would hit the golf course late in the evening, uh, waiting on somebody that, that, that was the lifeguard to get off work. And I'd go and hit, golf, hit balls. golf balls. And, you know, finally the, the sprinkler would come on and the, you'd see the little rainbow deals in the sprinkler. That, that was just a very, very peaceful, cool thing. Other than that, it would take, it would be a beach. And if Julia thing. Roberts walked up to you while you were there, what would she say? Right when you she would probably want to go to that no. sex part we can't talk about. No, I want to know the words she would say to you. They know. I told them last week. What would I'm she just say? A girl, damn little <laughs> boy, asking you to love me. My I already friend, love you. Oh, okay, mine. I would. It. It would just be in, in a gym. In a gym somewhere. Just. In what would gym. she say if she walked up to you? Jim Where's Rogers? Chris? That's what she'd say. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, I just got burned. We better say that. Just got burned on that. Where does virgin wool come from? Not Julia Roberts. Ooh. Ugly sheep. Ugly sheep. Ugly sheep. Remember, Chris is giving away $100. You have Still to found put that. this in before Sunday. We will do it. You can start putting it in now. We'll keep it in the notes. It is. Who do you think will win the Super Bowl and the correct score? And I don't care. And you can only do one a day. So, Shane, do not do 17 in a row. The beauty of this contest is this will be the third year we've done it, and nobody's ever done it. Nobody. There's a lot of combinations. I'm going to put mine in. We just need the combination to end in seven. Yes. That's all I'm saying. Because we're going to win. We're on some Super Bowl pots, so we're pretty excited. 
Today, tell them about your food. Tell them what's on the menu. Today is the Big Daddy Russ chicken sandwich. Now listen, this, Get is, ready. this has, it has chicken breast, lettuce, tomato, fried egg, an avocado. It also comes with a side of avocado if you don't want it. I put an avocado on it with spicy ranch. And let me just say, it is the best. It's some good stuff. Best. I will say that. And we, I really stole it off Chris because you started, they started with the hamburger, which was the hangover burger. Yeah, you can get the same thing as a hang, hangover burger without the avocado. Yeah. And that is a brunch special, but you can get it any time. They throw that oh. egg on there, and, and I wouldn't get the bun, and I'd eat it with the bacon and stuff. And Don't it have bacon? Uh, you can order it. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it just depends on the night before when I'm bowling, if I remember to say bacon. Oh. Now, it does have it on there. You can ask for it, but I, I can't. Okay. I have messed up many a time. We're going to get out of here, man. Watch, like it, share it. Until tomorrow, I am Russ. This is Chris, and we are 